Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chun of All Ages Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Hollywood Shono in real life tech review video as I'm shooting outside of the sanctuary. In this video, I'd like to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Now, I want to do this review based on the gaming aspect of the tablet, and not just one revealing specs like, for example, the Snapdragon 835, 4GB of RAM. We already know all of this. What you guys do not know and what you guys have questions about, is this the tablet that will actually replace your iPad or prevent you from buying a Surface Go tablet? Be sure to check out the full clips from the video and I will be sure to get back to you on the performance. Now one cool accessory that I can definitely recommend for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4, especially if you have tables to use, is the keyboard that comes with it. It is going to set you back 150 bucks unless you buy from the Samsung website and get it for half off. However, I can definitely assure you that this accessory is great to use. Now, if you have big hands like me, typing might be a little bit of a problem, but you also have to keep in mind for a stand, it does work really well. Obviously, it's one position, but if you're not doing games like Clash Royale and just watching movies or doing anything that has the tablet in portrait mode, you are going to love this tablet. I definitely cannot recommend this case enough. And it also offers decent protection. If you've got close the tablet, the only place that is exposed is right here on the sides. And other than that, the tablet will work really well. And this side is protected, so there's only two exposed corners. And you even have room for the camera right there, as you can see. So the thing that I like about this keyboard versus the one on the Tab S3 is that, unlike the Tab S3, which was held together with magnets, it's actually got a built-in case, kind of like a regular phone case would have. So I've tried prying this out, and it's virtually impossible to do so. So if you want something that's going to stay in its case, the Samsung keyboard will definitely do its job for that. So as you guys can see, I am on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 about to show off how Injustice 2 runs on the device. So there should be a challenge available. Yes, it is for Blue Beetle. Two days, 17 hours left to go on that. So we have 2 minutes and 25 seconds to refresh, and we're going to do a couple fights within this. So we need a tech class hero. So we're going to throw in Predator Batman. Let's throw in Justice League Cyborg. And let's also throw in Unbreakable Cyborg just to get all the tech heroes out of the way. So we're going to do a fight. Now remember, Injustice 2 is the ultimate benchmark for Android devices on how well they will stack up to the test of time. Now, this is not going to be the same thing for all games. Certain games will run better than others. But this just gives you an idea of how Injustice 2 will run on the device. So, you can see it's barely keeping 30 FPS, if even that. It's very struggling on the game. Blue Beetle is going to go down. Now, keep in mind, it is playable. Just because the frame rate is not 60 FPS does not mean that the game is playable. But, Injustice 2 has been out on Android for well over a year. And to this day, it is not optimized for Android at all. They've done nothing to reduce the load times of the game, and they've done absolutely nothing in regards to actually optimizing the game for Android, since it is supposed to be a blown-up phone device. But you would think that with the tens of thousands of dollars NetherRealm makes every month on mobile games, they could at least invest in optimizing Android, even if they lower the resolution to 720p instead of the native resolution of the device. Begin. Let's just let this play out for a second. Let's let Blue Beetle do some attacks. And you can see it is not a crisp 60 FPS at all. We're actually having trouble getting rid of Blue Beetle's shield here. So now his shield is off. Green Lantern is going to take heavy damage. Now the bosses do usually take a lot more damage than the minion dude. So let's get in Cyborg, who does have more basic damage. So you can see that his shield has been gone. Blue Beetle just poking away at Justice League Cyborg. We unfortunately do not get the bomb off. Let's get that off now, and Blue Beetle gets wiped out for the victory in the second difficulty. And we're going to get five shards, good for seven out of 60. And this is on the Android account. My iOS account, I already have Blue Beetle. So the cooldown, unfortunately, resets. So let's just sim these fights. We have like 4,000 energy. So we should have 13 fragments out of 60. I don't spend gems on this account. 
But yeah, this gives you an idea of how well Injustice 2 plays on the system. Alright, so now let's take another game that I've been getting into heavily, Mortal Kombat X. Now this game I have seen actually play pretty well. You're going to get the flawless smooth 60 FPS. Unfortunately we didn't get the alliance packs, we missed out on a couple souls, but not that big of a deal. We are going to get the evening login. Quest 56 is done. So we're going to get 14% renown, 300 coins, and 14 souls. It's really good that they put in quest mode for free-to-play players because it really encourages you just to play the game. So I would like to get Cold War Sonya Blade. And there is a Tower 47, I believe. Yes, there is. So I definitely want to do that. In Tower 9, I'm at Quest 57, which is do or die 12-hour quest. We'll work on that later on. But just to give you guys an idea of classic Ermac, we have one fight left to go in the fifth battle, and obviously I'll clear out the second battle on stream for you guys. So we have Spec Up Scorpion. Let's throw in Injustice 2 Scorpion as well, and let's also throw in Warlock Quan Chi. One thing that I wish that they would actually do on Mortal Kombat X is remember your preference for sorting. I don't like how it defaults back to newest every time you launch the game. So I wish that was something they would take out and... You guys can get a sneak peek of my gear. Obviously, you're going to see it quicker on stream. But we've collected a nice chunk of gear. We've got Shao Kahn's helmet, the Wrath Hammer. And let's actually throw on this account. Let's throw on the Red Headband. Let's go more damage with Spec Op Scorpion, who I managed to get up to Fusion 6. Very happy about that. So let's throw on the Sacrificial Knife. Um, let's throw on Dramin's Mask, and let's throw on the Brawler Gloves. Now, this fight is either going to end in like two seconds if we spear Boss Ermac, or he's going to play Roulette with us. So maybe we should play Roulette with Spec Out Scorpion. Fight. Yeah, he's taking way too much damage on the first difficulty. I want to see how this roulette works, though. But you can see the gameplay in Mortal Kombat X is super smooth. You're not going to have any problems with that whatsoever. Okay, that is a special one. Where's this roulette? Does it happen as soon as you hit zero? And, yep, he's dead. That was like one million damage. I don't think we've ever seen damage that high, so... Ermac reanimates... Stuck up Scorpion is basically dead. Let's get off the flip kick. Alright, so Quan Chi. Let's see if we can get him down to zero and have Quan Chi take the shot and not Scorpion. Now, Scorpion will actually get saved from death, so maybe we should let that happen. Nope, we actually saved it, so he escaped death. Ermac is gonna. Revive again, so it looks like he revives three times all together Seems really tough. It seems like the best route is to just spear and have one of your lesser guys take the damage So let's actually do that with Quan Chi. So let's get off the portal tricks Let's see if Quan Chi dies. Yeah, there's only like one that doesn't kill him Yeah, so Quan Chi dies. Scorpion revives him though. We got the judgment just so we can try to heal up a little bit It looks like it's gonna heal him as well that's going to take him out, and we're able to take out Ermac on the first difficulty, but that's not easy. You definitely want to use Spec Up Scorpion to bring somebody alive. You also have the Reanimator from Quan Chi. I think both of those mechanics are going to be super useful for preserving your team, and it obviously helps if you're Quan Chi's level. But you can use the Spear Tactic, get the opponent to one health, sacrifice Quan Chi on the first try. On the second try, just have Injustice Scorpion take the shot, and then resurrect. So... I don't think it's going to be impossible, but we'll have to see how it plays out in the second difficulty. Want to either do it on stream or in the future, but we only have a couple fights left. And you can see that Mortal Kombat X does run flawlessly. Where the game does have issues is if you're tabbing in and out, so try not to do that. Alright, so in my third test of games, we have Tekken Mobile, which I have been getting back into. Alright, so we're going to go into the daily fight since it reset. And we have a summer KO mode. You can get summer event tokens, which I imagine you just gotta knock out Nina five times to get all the rewards. There's a summer Bob boss, which is three stars and 1.5 million damage, but if you get all the way to the end, you're gonna get 
a three-star water element. That's not that great, but whatever. Gorgo Boss still has a day left. There's Red, White, and Bow, the Battle Token event, which lets you play as much as you want in the Daily Battle Pack event. So you have to fight a two-star Martial Law and a two-star Punk, which we'll use Katarina with because fire is very strong against Earth. Get ready for the so next we're going to win battle. this fight quickly, and as you guys will be able to see here, Tekken Mobile plays without a hit. 60 FPS all the wrong. I really want some cosmetic equipment, but I'm not paying gems with real money for it. I'm going to earn it over time. So we're going to get rid of Punk pretty easily. We're just going to kick him right in the face and then hit him in the balls. Actually, no, we didn't get the hit in the balls. But I really like that they left the whole classic Tekken feel where you hit them in the balls or just hit them when they're at zero. This is one area where I've seen the game crash sometimes. You do get the rewards. Luckily, this time it did not. So we're going to get a one-star fragment, and that's for Asuka. Notice that we get the same people like over and over again. We get a one-star Katarina, which will allow us to take her up to level 20 if we're not able to do so. Yep, she is level 15, so we can take her up to 20. That's going to take one of the Tier 1 Fire Awakening Stones, which they should be farming every day that they're available. And then we're just going to level her up to 20, just to get her healed up. Because I like to level up all the characters. Like, I've been maxing out my 1 star as soon as I can. I don't have 3 Soul Stones to get it up to level 25. But I do have Nina at level 25, and... You need five duplicates to actually get that up. I'm sure we'll get it over time. It's just going to be a little waiting game. So you can see that Kazuya is maxed out at level 50. And I don't have the three three-star upgrades to get him up to level 55. So now we can actually start working on our four two-star lightning characters. Uh, Katarina is almost level 45, so we'll have Fang and the two-star version to level up. And the Earth class, we still have Shaheen to get up. We have King and a three-star Martyr to level up, and we have Leo. So we have a lot of Earth materials that are going into that. And yeah, Tekken Mobile, as you can see, runs just fine. All right, so now we have Clash Royale. Obviously, I have to turn the sound way down for this game because it gets super loud. Now, obviously, this is a game that is not friendly with the Samsung keyboard cover because you have to keep it in one position. But where I've been finding that my account has actually been doing pretty well is in regular battles. But... Let's actually do one. Let's see how we do. If we win or lose, it's going in the video. So we have Ed going up against YouTube showing on my second account. All right, so here I'm kind of in a pickle on what to play. He's going to play a Musketeer. I'm going to start with a Pekka in the back. If he tries to elite bars me, I have a Lumberjack that should be able to take care of it pretty well. Let's see what he puts in front of the Lumberjack or the Musketeer. Nothing is going to let it go. Let's get the lumberjack up all right he's got some bats let's get out some archers to cycle he's got a tombstone the bats are going to get killed by the archers uh okay he's got a mega knight got to zap the skeletons away they'll do a lot of damage otherwise let's get a bomber out pekka should be able to get a shot on the tower mega knight out pekka is going to get a shot on the tower for sure bomber is going to connect on one shot at least so as a level 9, we do have to react against the Mega Minion. Let's use a Wizard. Alright, so so far he hasn't touched our tower. We have his down halfway almost. So he's going to use the Musketeer. I'm fine with that because that will pretty much take it out. If his win condition is the Mega Knight, that's not going to work. And if he places it in front, we'll just... Nope, he's got a Graveyard. So let's use the Lumberjack. Electro Wizard. Get rid of the Musketeer. All right, so we have to watch out for bats. That's what we have a zap for. He might place a tombstone, which is fine. Yep, there it is. And there's the bats. Let's get rid of it. Lumberjack, Electro Wizard goes down. Let's prep some arrows. And that was pretty bad, but we're still going to get some damage on the tower. So he could probably try to bridge spam a Mega Knight, although he did spend a lot with bats and a tombstone. So if his only win condition is a Mega Knight, we should take this one pretty easily. All right, there's the Mega Knight again. Does he not have a spell? That's an upward because he needs something like a Fireball, or what is he going to do? All right, he's going to play the Musketeer again. I'm going to place a Bomber in the back. I want to save enough Elixir in order to be able to play my P.E.K.K.A. against the Mega Knight because that's what's going to dictate it. Let's use a Wizard in the back. He's got arrows. 
That's not going to fully take out. All right, let's do the P.E.K.K.A. now just to protect our tower. He's going to Graveyard again and freeze, but we have an Electro Wizard to take out some Skeletons, and now we're building up a massive push. Now, he is going to want to play the Mega Knight, and let's Lumberjack opposite side with some Archers. Because he's going to want to have to defend one side. He can't defend both. Let's prep Arrow, get rid of that. He's going to Mega Knight the wrong side. All right, Wizard's going to take that out. The Mega Knight is going to go down. He's going to play some bats. All right, so we're going to have the first tower down, and we're just going to P.E.K.K.A. his Mega Knight. And this one is basically flawless. Can we get another tower down or even just three crown him? It looks like the answer is yes, sir, indeed. That's a victory for Hollywood Shona playing Clash Royale on the tab S4, as you guys can see right here. All right, so Samsung Dex is something that might be a little bit hard to actually record from this device because it's actually requiring a mouse. So the following footage, I'm probably just going to stream off the tablet. All right, so this might be a little bit harder to actually see considering that we have to have the DU recorder to show this gameplay footage. So... Let's fire up Injustice 2 now. Let's also fire up Clash Royale. So we have Injustice 2 and Clash Royale running in the background. Let's throw up Tech in as well. And finally, let's throw up Mortal Kombat X. So obviously the camera's sideways. I don't know exactly how well this is going to work, but we have four games running at once. And you basically just tap and show the active ones. Sometimes the games will run in the background. But yeah, you can see Clash Royale running flawlessly with three other games up. And let's just watch this previous uh, three crown domination that you guys just saw. While we're doing that, let's fire up Mortal Kombat X. It looks like it doesn't play well with multiple apps at the same time. So certain things will run okay. Shao Kahn's Tower is available, so let's do a fight within Shao Kahn's Tower. Now, obviously, you guys are probably more curious about the Injustice 2 effect of things, but let's do a fight within Shao Kahn's Tower. And while we're waiting for the game to load up, let's do some Clash Royale. All right, so now back to this. Now, obviously, certain multitasking will work better than others. If you're watching your favorite streamer play on the tablet, it's going to work a lot better. So we're going to wipe out Stunt Double Johnny Cage. Possessed Kenshi comes in and firebombs me, preventing damage. So we're going to get off this. Possessed Kenshi is going to go down before the tag in. Cybernetic Jackie Brace comes in. Scorpion is in. Let's get off the spear and get rid of Jackie Briggs. Actually, it didn't do enough damage. All right, so Spec Op Scorpion is going to take a little damage here, but it shouldn't be that bad. We're going to spear him down to zero. That way, if Quan Chi comes in, Scorpion comes in to finish him off. So now let's fire up Injustice 2. You can see how well Mortal Kombat X runs with Samsung decks, and you can see it's even still running in the background. That's hilarious. Now remember, this is designed to be a gaming tablet as well as a productivity tablet. And I feel that a lot of the tech reviewers, like for example, anybody that reviews a smartphone does not test the gaming aspects of the phone. They just care about the specifics. Oh, it's got a Snapdragon 845 with 60 gigabytes of RAM, but do they actually play games? And this is where people like Unbox Ther Therapy, MKBHD, and even everything Apple Pro need to evaluate the way that they review tech by also testing games. So you can see that Injustice 2 in DEX mode definitely does not run very well at all. That's apparent. So let's go into the challenge. Let's try out the third difficulty, if it'll even load. And let's see how well this handles Injustice 2 while having other things open. 
We have 105,423 threat. And now, obviously, if you're playing Marvel Future Fight, you got your mouse and keyboard, or you're playing Hearthstone, you might want to have a Samsung mouse. But otherwise, it ain't that big of a deal. I think I'm going to fall asleep before this finishes loading. Yep, you can tell Injustice 2 definitely not optimized for Android. 100% a failed game because of Android optimization. So Blue Beetle is going to take some heavy chip damage right away. Now, Ground Hazards are not going to work because of Jon Stewart Green Lantern. We're still going to get some decent damage, though. So we have to have Batman take the shots. And that's a little bit of a heal there. Need to get rid of Power Girl as soon as possible. Blue Beetle back in. And there you can see that's not going to work. It's probably harder to block with Samsung decks because you only have like half a screen to touch. But we're doing it. That power drain does connect because it's not a hazard. There is John Stewart Green Lantern. Let's try to take him out pretty quickly. We want to definitely save our next stun bomb for Blue Beetle. So armor piercing is still super effective, but you can block through it. Let's bomb Blue Beetle out. Green Lantern is going to get nothing. And we're going to wipe him out for the victory. So we got the third difficulty done on the Android account as well. And you can see it's about the same speed as running it as a full-fledged game. So I think that the reason that Samsung DeX runs Windows is because it taxes the CPU less because it's a smaller resolution, allowing you to multitask more. But my question is, why does the performance within Injustice 2 not change at all? That is my question, and hopefully we have some answers to that. So we're going to sim this, and let's go back into Mortal Kombat. So it's going to load up just like that, no problem. And while that's loading, let's go put this in. And it looks like the replay actually ended. So some really interesting stuff, but yeah, certain things will definitely multitask better than others. Like, for example, if we're watching a YouTube video while playing Mortal Kombat X, and let's open up our newest video, which should finish by the time we actually win this 52nd battle in Shao Kahn's Tower. So let's go to our most recent video, which is where I returned from vacation, and let's turn it full screen, and let's fight. So this is an instance where Samsung decks can be amazing. Say, for example, you're playing through a game, it's got low drop rates for a grind. Like, for example, let's say Marvel Future Fight. You can't get certain materials, or you want to just hear somebody's voice in the background. You have the ability to do that. Normally, it used to be just the iOS devices that had the picture-in-picture -picture from Twitch. Well, you can do that with Samsung Dex anywhere. And YouTube videos will pop out on the S8 and even the Tab S4 if you're in full screen mode. So that is one advantage to the Tab S4. Let's try to spear Revenant Sub-Zero and get rid of him. Unfortunately, he's going to avoid that. He's going to get some combo damage. And Justice Scorpion is actually taking a hit, as is... Possess Kenshi coming in. We're going to power drain him to avoid the power drain from him. So we're taking some decent damage on Scorpion. I don't know how we're going to do in this fight. We need to start eliminating people. I can guarantee that. So we need Kenshi to not tag out. That's a heavy power drain. There's A-list Johnny Cage. We're going to get Injustice Scorpion back in, who is low. But we need to try to control it. Hopefully we get a critical hit. Everybody is healing up. We do. But is that going to be enough to get rid of him? Does not appear to be. That combo does not get rid of Johnny Cage. Let's spear again. It does connect, which is super important. All right, one down. Revenant Sub Zero comes in. Have to try to block because we know this is going to do a lot of damage. And we can actually save Scorpion from death once. So I'd rather do that. Keep Spec Ops Square. There's a little bit of lag here, but we have a lot of apps open. Revenant Sub-Zero takes a heavy shot. Possessed Kenshi drops the fire on Scorpion. Quan Chi comes in with his portal tricks. Will that combo be enough for Scorpion to come in? Yes, it is. Possessed Kenshi takes a shot there. We want to get off another one. That's a nice critical hit as well. And Spec Ops Scorpion gets the victory. So there you have it. You could be watching 
an old school Hollywood show no injustice video while playing Mortal Kombat X. So, yeah, Tab S4 is great for multitasking for sure. If you guys like that device like I do, be sure to go out and buy one. I don't have a special code for you, but maybe one day we'll get that multitasking. And the battery on the Tab S4 actually is pretty well. I've killed it a little bit more playing Tekken Mobile versus Mortal Kombat X, but for full watching movies, you can definitely get probably 12 to 14 hours of it. If you like this Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 Gamers Review by Hollywood Shona, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Hollywood Shona Real Life Tech Review Videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shona, my Instagram, which is Hollywood Shona's God, and if you like the productivity and the multitasking of this tablet, leave a comment down below, and to get out of Dex mode, just hit the button right there. Have a wonderful day, kids. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you do, smash that like button, subscribe. Let me know what other tech you'd like me to review, especially from Android and iOS, and have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!